great program for everybody. Sorry. Okay. And I really want to bring this program to better living. So I'm learning from Chrissy, but I don't have any skill about sewing. So I'm glad today I have a volunteers. Thank you very much for coming today. So, and beside on my left side, I see Karen. So please introduce yourself. Okay, my name is Carolyn Smith. I'm the supervisor of volunteer services, uh, Better Living Health and Community Services. So we are based out of um, Don Mills. So um, I do all the um, volunteer um, programming for Meals on Meals, Adult Day Program, Hospice, Friendly Visiting, um, Admin Support, all of that kind of thing. Okay. Thank you. Shall I go next? Yes, please. Okay, uh, Barb Beamish, and I'm a volunteer at Doan House Hospice. I've been a volunteer, oh gosh, maybe 15 years. I took all the courses, but I've never had any uh, contact with any of the um, clients at all. But my uh, the reason I, I joined Doan House Hospice was my love of sewing. And when I saw the memory bears, that's what uh, drew me to the program. Well, I've been making memory bears for a long time. Mm. And I live in Newmarket. I live in Sharon, actually, uh, just outside of Newmarket. Thank you. Wonderful. Maybe Chrissy and Elizabeth, please. Okay, I'm Chrissy Flynn, I'm administrative assistant at Doan House Hospice. And uh, I do head up the Memory Bear program, meaning that I organize and arrange it with uh, the lovely seamstresses that we have and meet with the clients and hug them and cry with them when they see their beautiful bears made. It's very emotional and it's my favorite part of my job. Mm. And I've been here since, I've been a staff member since, started as a volunteer and I've been a staff member since 2019. Mm. Um, I'm Elizabeth Howitt. Um, it's been about two years now. Yeah, I joined after I retired, and uh, I'm I love just sewing. I have it uh, so just to help out. Okay. And next, I see Shanaz. Yes, yes. Hi, I am a volunteer for the Better Living for almost four or five years. I've been very active actually before the COVID <laughs> with the, um, I was actually an ambassador for outreach uh, of the um, mm -hmm. uh, to helping out to uh, get uh, some information about the, what's going on in our society uh, to the clinics, hospitals and uh, all of the other community. I've been, um, doing the friendship and hospices and ADP as well. So I was working for a very, um, very good activities. I thought I missed it actually. So I'm very happy to help you uh, with this memories of the bears memories. That is uh, kind of the same things. I love this uh, kind of the activity too. So hope that I'm gonna be uh, useful for that. Uh, Susan Jane, please. Uh, Susan Jane Bino, I've been volunteering out of Better Living for five years now. I've done Meals on Wheels. I have done advanced levels of um, bereavement groups and visiting with someone who has lost both her son and her husband. Um, I haven't done a lot of sewing recently. I thought I would try with something I have from my husband and um, hopefully if it works out well, then I will make for other people as well. Thank you very much. Thank you. So Beja, please. Yes. Hi, my name is Behjad. Uh, actually, Shan was brought me this uh, organization. And that organization, I find uh, Caroline very nice person. I love this place. I love actually <laughs> usually uh, make a meet person face to face. I don't like uh, in the 
<laughs> yes, internet. What is now is Corona time is no choice. Uh, and uh, yes, I get, uh, actually I got uh, two vaccine dose in second va vaccine dose and finish. But uh, I like this organization. I want to uh, uh, take a client. Uh, but uh, Caroline sent for me my one message. I don't know to me and another person. I don't know who is she and uh, said uh, sewing, about sewing. <laughs> yes. You are? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know who is it. I forgot name. <laughs> Christine. Uh, Christine. Uh, and Beach. Hi, Caroline. Sorry. Hi. How yeah, are hi. You? And Beach is also doing the um, core one training. Yes. Yes, I come here uh, in uh, 2019. This place, yes. I love it. <laughs> very nice organization. <laughs> and the person is a very lovely person. Thank you. Thank you, Rachel. So, Lena, um, please introduce yourself. Um, hi, I'm Lena. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Yes, great. Uh, I'm Lena Cornacci. I've been volunteering for Better Living special events for about seven years or so. And um, I love to sew. I'm a little handicapped right now that I don't have a sewing machine, but I'd like to oh. be involved in this program oh. going forward. Oh, you love sewing? <laughs> I'm happy to hear that because I love sewing so much. I do, I, I love it. Yes. <laughs> don't worry about sewing machine because uh, I had a uh, ambitious, <laughs> do sewing and I bought it three, four years ago, but still brand new. So <laughs> I'll let you use, please. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> okay. Very kind of you. Yeah. We'll, we'll Otherwise, see. just wasting, please. Okay. So I didn't prepare agenda today, but I prepared PowerPoint. So I'm gonna um, share with you. Is that okay for you? Yes. So, can you see? Mm. Yes. Can you see this? Yes. yes. So this is a memory beer. And yeah, memory unfortunately, beer. I haven't seen real one. But today, Chrissy is at the house. So we can see real one from many angles. OK. <laughs> yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing that. And the purpose of the Memory Bear program, I think everybody knows, but I would direct to review. You know, this is a part of our agreement program. So when clients loved one passed away, at some point of their life, they need to start organizing their loved one's items. So there is a, some cherished dress or some clothing. So, you know, it's very difficult to deal with how we can do these items. So using these cherished items, like um, t-shirts or I don't know, pyjama or something like um, cherished items. So that is very easy. <laughs> it's <laughs> very, very easy. Yeah. It's and make it clear. Very difficult and cold for uh, <laughs> the rest for wedding, for, for party. That is uh, difficult. But pyjama is okay. very Everything difficult, by the way. So. <laughs> Before starting a program, I spoke to a couple of people and, you know, of course, for me, it's the first time. And I thought maybe we need to have an information session, like a technical part or administrative part. And the technical part, unfortunately, I cannot answer because I don't have any skills. So that's why today, Christy and volunteers from uh, Don, Don House, uh, Elizabeth and Bob, Thank you very much for coming. So if you have a question, uh, volunteers from Better Living, please ask any questions. They can answer, okay? So um, the Memory Beer program, most important part of your part, like a volunteers make a Memory Beer. My part and staff part is receiving an order and we can find a volunteer and they pass the item to volunteers. And after you made 
beers. We receive the beer and back to clients. So this is a um, procedure. And because of the Kobe, there is a special procedure and I'm learning from Chrissy and don't worry about it. We protect your safety and we also, we want to protect uh, client safety. Okay. So let's go to <laughs> Q&A, more technical part. Um, so why don't we let Elizabeth do a little demo with us showing what the bears actually look like from the fabric. Yes, please. Okay. Um, I don't know if you can see this little guy you're going to have. It, it depends on the, the type of shirt or what you're doing. Uh, I'm not sure what you, you uh, want me to show, but you'll have your pattern. Uh, you'll have to figure out how to lay it out. You may have to put pieces together. Um, you're going to put on eyes, whether it's buttons or whether you've purchased it or noses. We've had requests from little ones that the people are <laughs> so you need to embroider. Um, you, usually you can add things like people will say, I want a pocket. Uh, mm -hmm. or, I want mm -hmm. a bow tie. Um, other times it's you're kind of left to your own ingenuity and, and you kind of hopefully make something that they, it's special to them. Um, and you use little items, whatever you have around. Or color the color of the eyes. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I always ask the color of the eyes because um, we had a special one last summer that, that someone passed away and I wanted, it was a special bear and I had to use, what was it, 16 pieces? I had to put every piece of material into this bear. And so I wanted to make it special for the person. So I, I asked what color is the eyes because it's pretty important. So um, it's individual. And I'm sure Barb is the same way. She's probably done things like that. Do you have a photograph of that particular bear? Of this one? No, the one. Oh, you mean the one? That yeah, yeah, we do. Would be interesting to see. Yes, um, it's the one with, you remember the one that was posted um, it, with the 31 bears on the stairs with all the police uh, oh, uniforms? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the very first one at the bottom. It's that picture. Yeah. Do you want yeah. me to send it to you, Kazue? Yes, please. And, and you I can share it. No, okay. Everybody, yeah, please. Elizabeth that, made those actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's something that would have trinkled to us via um, email? No, no, it was no. posted on, on Facebook. Yeah. Oh, okay. On the yeah. Better Living, on the Better Living website? Um, so I don't know exactly. So what I'm going to do is I'll send Kazuwe the picture and mm -hmm. she'll send it to you guys. How's that? That would be amazing. You know, That's if fair. we ever have a situation, and we'll here, know what to do. And here's another example of a, and, oh, and we have these little, um, I don't know if you got the, did you get the labels made already? Uh, Kazue? We haven't. We haven't. Yeah, because you need to put the labels mm -hmm. on them to show it's from Better Living. But look at this one. It's out of a, obviously uh, somebody's shirt, but it's quite festive, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So you can make, and this one has an embroidered mouth mm -hmm. and it has little button eyes and then an embroidered nose. So you can mm -hmm. do it like that, you see? So the embroidery on is for the smile and then the little nose is embroidered. Embroidered? Is that the right one? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not the seamstress, but I just think. <laughs> but this wow. one's really cute, and you can see the face and the little ears, and they've put a ribbon. They've just used a ribbon that they had one of the seamstresses, and I don't even know who made these. So yeah. we just have samples. Sometimes when we start a volunteer seamstresses, we ask them to make a sample. Uh, with some any old material, material they have and then that way they get to to know and this one was made out it looks like pajamas right this one because it's got little uh flowers or it's cute too and it's also got buttons so it might have been a blouse because the buttons yeah right yeah and so so some of them see this is a little smaller depending on the material if you have stretchy material the bear can get a bit nice and chubby yeah yeah <laughs> they're cute and, and sometimes you're going to be asked for we had uh fur, fur coats oh um, 
one was fake fur and it was one of the first it's ones that's so beautiful and and the material holds well but if you get a real fur coat please check out the fur itself because I had so much fun it it almost fell apart in my hands I was oh once I started cutting I went oh my gosh and I will never ever ever touch pleather again oh, no. <laughs> not so with pleather oh because this, this, this one wanted the fur coat and then wanted like a pleather vest or something on it and I just I couldn't I just finally said I can I can I know it was I did my best but I it was it turned out great but she had shedding of the fur because the person didn't keep the fur in in cold storage you know it was falling <laughs> apart so it was I was stitching <laughs> making it was, like I just said no fur is fine but you got to look at it first yeah. and they you have to ask to say it may not work out so fun fur always works but yes, real fur it doesn't, doesn't always really work. work yeah right. I think there is a question from Lena and Beja. Maybe Lena first. Beja. Oh, I, I had a concern about the type of, of fabrics that are provided. I mean, um, I think some of them might work better for the bear or not. I mean, how do we make that call? How do we know? Like, like if they give us a silk blouse, I'm not sure no, what the bear will we, look I like. Won't I, I don't accept the silk or anything see-through because there's, there, it, there's nothing to us it shows the stuffing you know what I mean it can't be see-through nothing see-through you can tell your client that casually well, we're, we're going to be such novices how are we going to make these calls like which fabrics are really going to work well as a bear and which not so much actually I found I can do a bear out of almost any fabric the pleather is one of them uh, the that fur, the fur was, I, it was a challenge. You can do it. You just, it's got to be, uh, it's, it's, uh, well, between Chrissy and I, we both kind of go, well, we can try it. There's, it is, it, it may not work. And you've got to tell your clients that it yeah. may, depending, sometimes you just can't do it and you have to be very honest with them. Mm -hmm. So uh, if I could just uh, speak to the material as well, uh, I agree, Elizabeth. First of all, Elizabeth, it's nice to meet you because yeah. I've heard of you and and seen and your bears, yeah. and now we've met. So that's that's really nice to meet you. Uh, I agree with Elizabeth. There is really no fabric, pretty much, that you can't do something if it's uh, if it's a slippery or a stretchy fabric. You can always. Um, put uh, iron on interfacing to give it stability or just let it go and it'll as Chrissy said it'll be a little bit puffier and yeah. actually the more the more giving the fabric the easier it is to not make a mistake while you're going around all the curves so yeah. um, I can understand your hesitation when you start and hopefully you will start with some easy fabrics like fleece is, is really a nice fabric to work with. In fact, you might want to do a sample on fleece and then you'll get to know your ability. And then um, if you want to be successful, don't, don't be afraid to say, I can't do it until I get a little more experience and uh, accept ones that you can. And that will be the coordinator will will uh, be able to work with you and say, well, I'm going to give the bear to this person to make because it's, um, they can handle it. And as they get better, then you can do almost anything, really. Yeah. And will the bear sit up with any fabric? Is that the objective? Or we're not really concerned about the bear being able to be propped up or not? Correct. We're You're not concerned with that okay the the bear sitting up is uh is uh, has to do with the stuffing and that is a whole other lesson in stuffing <laughs> in <our point. laughs> and yep. and you get better at stuffing as you go along um, yeah a man right, elizabeth shirt, a yeah. man shirt would make a bear there's enough fabric a woman's shirt is there enough fabric to make a bear or that, yes. that, that's questionable. And then who will make that call for us? Like, 
like, I guess once I get the fabric, I'll know there's not enough fabric here. Or I, I heard someone say you can piece it together. I've, I've pieced together. Um, I've okay. taken apart, I've taken out pockets so I can get a, a good fabric. Uh, you can use arms. You, you, you become inventive, um, right, Barb? Um, yes, yes. And you can put the seams, you know, like, and it's a, it's a teddy bear. Sometimes you don't even notice where the seams are or the patterns are, and you can use buttons to decorate and collars and um, you can be fairly creative and, and just make this lovely little bear that people, uh, it's amazing. It, it's, it's the simplicity of it. You don't, don't go overboard. Just make it, make it the best you can. And believe me, it, uh, it, it shows. Um, uh, if, if you're doing a shirt or a blouse with a pocket, um, for, well, for example, here, here's the, uh, uh, an example. There, this is the pattern. So uh, it's only two pieces, a front, two fronts and two backs. And it is hard to position it on some of the, the garments that we get. But um, if, if you, you can do the back, it's fine. There's no interference. But in the front, if you have pockets, I try to position it so that the, the least amount of pocket is showing on the pattern. And I just leave it. I, I don't take the pocket off because oh. it's part of the garment and it's part of who that person is, who whose clothing it was. So that's, uh, that's what I do. But if I have to, as Elizabeth said, you can, you can take the, the pocket off. Um, yeah. So what I have done is this is a, a, a photocopy of the pattern. And uh, when I, I've got the, uh, the really thin um, uh, cutting boards from the dollar store, oh, and I've good. made a pattern, a front and a back, and I've put my oh. lines on it. And this particular one, if the fabric is um, a cotton, which doesn't stretch, I'll place this on the material and then I'll just use a pen and I'll do the outline. If it's a, and if I, is this, if I uh, wanna piece my fabric, I've also made a pattern of a top and a bottom. So this is the, the uh, top and then I have a bottom. And, yeah. and then you add your seam allowance and you can um, piece that together. If, um, if the fabric is, I can't, uh, write on it with a pen, I have to uh, maybe cut around it. I've made a pattern out of interfacing or, you know, fabric, pattern fabric. And I do the same thing to, to do my cutting out. I don't know what you do, Elizabeth. Oh, I, when I, you... Yeah, I made different, <clears throat> and I've got the light um, gauzy, gauzy, it's like yours. And, mm -hmm. and I make patterns out of it. And yeah, it's, and you can, just reuse them all the time. Yeah, I do. Yeah, exactly. Will, will, those, will those actual pieces be provided for us, like that size, or do we have to enlarge them? You get a. You get a. You're gonna get um, one that you can. Um, oh, I think Casaway will have ones that she'll photocopy on um, the large ledger paper, and this then is, you'll be able to cut it out. That's the copy. You'll get a photocopy. And then you use it the way you can. That's the legal size. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that was my question. Are they all the same size? Yeah. This is what I was asking. You know, I was uh, this. I wanted to know that I understand it mm, properly. Uh, I understand that we have to get the fabric and the pattern from the Better Living Center, right? Uh, from the Overland. So. Uh, we are going to go over there because I don't have a printer at home and it's very hard for me to go to the library at the moment. Yeah, Casaway will make sure you have a photocopy proper. I, so we are going to get from the center yeah. and everything is over there. Perfect. So, yeah. yeah. Thank and you. I think, I think um, somebody asked about what will one woman's shirt make one bear? And yes. we found, I think, that I can speak for, for this because I've been doing it long enough. Not that I know how to sew, but one women small will make one bear. Yeah. 
like a shirt, right? A top or a blouse or a pajama top, something like that. So, so if you have a medium, then you're going to make a, you know, you're going to make sure you make one bear as well. But if you have XXL, you can probably like a really large uh, shirt from a man or from a woman, you can make two. Right. If they, if they give us uh, children's pajamas or something like that, uh, we probably need to piece yeah. together, right? Oh, oh we, my God. We We've really never had, had child. You've got to remember that's different. You won't get the children here in your hospice. It'll be the, they have a special hospice. So okay. yeah, you're, you're not. Um, you're going to get adult clothing. You're going to okay? get adult clothing. But I mean, if, if you're faced with a child, I mean, if that goes as you yeah. can, if, if you may need two pieces, I mean, yeah. you adapt. Uh, yeah, you might, you might ask the client for, for two, two pieces because right. then you can, you can sew them together. Yeah. yeah, sew them together or make a, a bear. Or, yeah. Are all the bears the same size? Like if you guys get into trouble and need questions answered, you know, Casaway will reach out to us and we'll get you an answer uh, as you go. Uh, I'm talking to you new, new seamstresses now, right? The ones that are going to, so don't worry. I mean, it's, I don't even know how they make them. So, you know, kudos to all of you for making them. But um, I'm sure that Barb and between, I can get Barb by email and, El and Elizabeth and they could probably answer your questions if you have more after the after the session, right, Casaway? Yes. Just ask Casaway what your question is and she'll get me uh, the questions, okay? Anyways, us, we, we, we just want you to be successful because I'm so glad it's branching out from mm -hmm. just our, our region, you know, our, our community, so that's great. Sorry, one more question, it's Lena. Um, so, uh, for us novices making bears, I mean, it's pretty intimidating to take someone's special piece of clothing and still be unsure, you know, what you're doing. Uh, the sewing is not a problem, but the cutting, is, that's scary. Um, yeah. Should, should we start to make, like, are there any chances of getting some sample, you know, like, like pieces of fabric that, that are available maybe that we could just do a dry run a few Lena, times? Yeah. Do you have anybody or anything in your closet that I you're... tried to look? Yeah, I, I recently I did a purge, unfortunately. Or a, a sheet. Um, you can do sheets. You can do towels. You can do anything and any fabric just to practice on. Yeah, you'll 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 see. And each fabric is going to be like you're going to be challenged each time you get. Uh, a different shirt or a different fabric because they're going to stretch and everything. Just you got to approach it like, no, this is this is fine. It's a very simple pattern. It's a very simple. Um, I mean, there's darts in there, but it's so straightforward. It's it's not um, really advanced sewing. Um, it, it's just it's it's a lot simpler than you, than you think. And I remember sewing my first one and going, oh. Okay, this is this is fine. I have more fun doing the extra touches <laughs> than I do sewing the bear. The bear is just like, okay, fine. Um, so once it's it's I, I think once you get into it, any any type of material, um, just sewing your first bear is gonna be the big thing for you. Christy, how many would you say you do a year? Oh. God. How many orders would you roughly? Yeah, I oh, I didn't even prepare for that question. So, well, last year alone, I had the one order that Elizabeth did was 31. And Barb, you had a few 10 bear orders and 12 bear, didn't you? Not last yes, year. I did. Last year was yes. a little more because of COVID. Mm -hmm. and, the, and, the, and our seamstresses were busy making gowns and masks. So we didn't do a lot of bears. But previous years, I'm sure that Barb, you could say easily you made 20 bears in a year, right? Oh, at least, yeah. Or oh, wow. And Elizabeth, Great. very much more than that, uh, especially when she had the, the big, like for instance, next week, we're gonna get one for 16 bears from one client. So she's got lots of items of clothing with lots of grandchildren and, and families she wants to give them to. So that's what happens. 
So typically there are six bear order, 10 bear order, sometimes one, sometimes it's three, you know, it depends on how many family members they want to do them for. And some people do them for Christmas presents. Mm -hmm. It gets pretty busy around Christmas, uh, uh, October, November. And then we kind of do a cutoff because the, the seamstresses get too busy and they can't, you know, promise them for in time for Christmas. Yeah. And so what kind of lead time do you give the volunteers? Oh, uh, so I, I try to tell the, the person that uh, four to six weeks okay. like client and, and, and maybe longer if it's like 16 bears or, you know, it depends on my seamstress too, because if they, if I know they're going to be away on holidays or they're going to, you know, they, they want to take a sabbatical, sometimes they take a break, you know, yeah. well, I'll just tell them, well, you can't be in a hurry if you want us to make these because, you know, so I, I lead that by knowing what my seamstress's schedules are by asking them. So that's right. So there's no pressure on Elizabeth no. or Barb to say, we I've don't have 10 done by, you yeah. know. I try very hard not to put any pressure on them. I hope I don't. No. <laughs> I always ask them first you know, if uh, how, you know, or tell them, hey, there's no rush and they're happy about that. Or I have done it when I've said this one really needs it because he's got a family member coming in from England and, and you know, they, they work with me. They're, they're very good. We're so fortunate. Okay, so I need to, I need to know client's condition. I need to understand. Yes. Yes, also, that's why you meet them in person and you get all the information and you write it all out and then you have to write it out for the seamstress um, and make sure she knows all of and take pictures of the material. I've told you all that. And then I they, they see the material anyway, but at least sometimes on the back of the picture, I type all the instructions if it's a lot, right? Yeah, so you can be, you can do it your way where you know that the seamstress will not. Oh, and then when the seamstress picks it up from you, Kazaway, then you you go over it with them. And if they have questions, then they'll ask you then. Okay. Right? Okay, I need to learn from experience. Yeah. <laughs> yes, and I'm here, I told you. I'm only a phone call away as you go, okay? That's not a, that's not a problem. And oh, I picked up a bear last week from Chrissy, and there's a picture of the material, and there's uh, Chrissy's instructions, and so she goes over it with me, and then I actually look at the project, and this is going to be a, a, a tricky one, but, you know, it's never impossible, but this is a, a knitted uh, shirt, a sweater, mm -hmm. and it's not a big sweater. So I'm going to have to use the, um, I'm going to have to use the front. So how, because the back is plain and I can put the back of the bear pattern on the back, but what am I going to do with this front when it has to have a seam down the middle? Mm -hmm. So that's going to be tricky. And can I open up the sleeve and use the sleeve? Oh, yeah. um, I'll have to see if I want to use the sleeve as opposed to the front. But yeah. if you can see the um, the pattern oh, here, oh, yeah, you, you so cut. it it's going to have oh, a, a mishmash on the front, maybe if I use it. It doesn't matter because that was what the pattern of the sweater was. I don't think it matters if it just shows part of that. Uh, exactly. New, you know exactly. Because and if the there's whole, any, the whole point is that the person knows their sweater. And when they receive their bear made of that sweater mm -hmm. and they see a little bit of that, they'll, you know, it's special for them, right, Barb? Right. Yes, exactly. And, you know, if I see something on the, the, uh, the piece of material, uh, the, like I like to use the buttons on the, that were on the shirt or whatever because it's part of the shirt or if there's a label, some, somebody, uh, I did something, there was a Simpsons, uh, you know, Eaton's and Simpsons, there was a Simpsons label inside. So I put the Simpsons label on because that was the history of the person who was wearing it, that they had it that long. And, and so I try to put on what, uh, or if, if there, um, there were some soccer shirts. So uh, I put the collars of the soccer shirts on the bear to make it look like there's a collar on the bear. And and, you know, as Elizabeth says, you just have fun with it and you 
think about the person who you don't know the person who you're making it for, but you can glean a few things about them when you see the, the garment and the garment tells you something. So then you can imagine who the person was and what and they were like. There, isn't there a little crest on that one that they wanted to be put on the, on the chest or something? On the back, on, yes. Bottom, there's a, front. This, this little crest yeah. at the bottom. Yeah, on the bear. Like they request. So I'll make sure. Hi, sorry, I have a question. Okay. Uh, Justin, Vinnie uh, did the first time Vinnie did first time Vinnie did the pattern and material. You said we can use second hand material. That's right? Yes. Right. And for pattern. You say for pattern, how can we use the pattern? Uh, and I'm going to send a pattern. Yeah. Go pattern. The technology, maybe yes, I will send. Yeah, yeah. I already asked, Trisha. Don't worry. Uh, but I'm just uh, wondering uh, when and what time is available so for us to go grab the material and the Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, after this meeting, okay. I want to have a kind of test run. OK. Test okay. run, yeah. For example, if you have a material, please use <coughs> material. If you don't have it, I have a lot. Yeah. Okay. So please let me know. And I can give you a bear's pattern. And also, if you don't have material, I, I can give you a pattern. And if you don't have stuffing items, this test run, I can provide. <laughs> From next time, um, because uh, you know, Don House, when we Don House received the order, a uh, power bear is $35 to cover the material. So I'd like to do it the same. Okay. But for the test run, uh, I don't want to, you to use your money, so I can cover the cost. Okay. Also, um, when you do Thank get you. Used, when you do get used to making them, uh, you'll have to let Kaz, you know when you do your real ones, Kazuoi will need to take your hours, your volunteer hours. And our seamstresses seem to be able to make one bear with it, and we use four hours for one bear. So you know that's a way to judge if it's uh, how easy or not easy it is. From start to finish, it's about four hours for one bear. And sometimes it can be more or less, depending on the material and what you're doing with the, uh, you know, extra stuff on the neck or collars, you know. So you and then Casaway will uh, enter all of your hour or, or Carolyn, whichever one is doing that, right? Or or whatever you want, Carolyn. But what I do is um, I am the one that inputs my volunteer seamstresses hours into a lie care so that our Anne doesn't have to be worried yes. about it. Mm -hmm. Great. So you. when you do a test, test run, please tell yourself how much, you know, you need a time. Of course, you know, first time it takes yeah. time, but it's good to know. And I really want to know after test run, I want to have a feedback from you and, you know, we can revise some things and we um, want to- Kazuo, they should bring their samples to you. <laughs> yeah. Well, after they've done the sample, they should bring oh, you and Carolyn and you go over it with them and see how what you, you know, what you feel about their sample, then you'll know. And, and then they may say to you, oh, I want to do one more. I want to do another one because this one's a little rough or whatever. That's fine, too, until they're comfortable. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's right. Sounds Barb, good. I would love, Barb, I would love to see what you do with that shirt when you're done. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, I'm going to take a picture, picture of it and I'll send it to Casaway to send to you. How's that? I yes, I look forward to seeing that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll share with you. Yes, Thank well. you. I'll, I'll try and uh, take a picture of uh, when I put the pattern, how I cut up the sweater and put the pattern that. on. Be and that then would be it. brilliant. Yeah. That yeah. would be amazing okay. for us to see what you do, how you cut it. And then the finished product. Yes, that would, I think oh, yeah. that would be really oh. help. Like a YouTube and, video. <laughs> and Elizabeth, you could do, well, I don't know if I could do a video, but Elizabeth, you could do one with yours too. And I think that would be helpful. Um, I don't know about that. <laughs> not a video, just a just flat um, picture, right? Yeah. I'll see what I do. Yeah. 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 
Yeah. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. It's really and, helpful. Yeah. Just to reiterate, um, Becha, Shanaz, Susan Jane, Lena, you are not expected to pay for any of the materials. Okay. So for this pilot project, um, oh. We'll make sure that you get the thread, the stuffing, the eyes, the whatever you need. Um, and then after that, I presume that the money comes from the cost of the bear, like that the client pays, right? But for the pilot project, don't worry about it, okay? Um, another suggestion is uh, start collecting buttons or ask your friends if they have a button box and go through them and find buttons, uh, different colors, uh, different sizes, um, and you know, to have buttons in your back pocket for these bears is is a good idea. Mm. I think it's going to be nice if we had some information about the the person that you're going to send this uh, memory bear to them about the person that uh, they wanted to memorize. You know. Mm. Mm -hmm. I do. I do let, try to let um, our seamstresses know uh, nice the loved one is, and uh, male, female, mm -hmm. color, yeah. eyes. Uh, mm -hmm. A little bit. I, I give them a little bit without name. We don't name names, mm -hmm. and we use the Alia Care number uh, for the seamstress. She doesn't usually know the name. Uh, that's for privacy purposes. But she will. We do tell her like, oh, this woman lost her husband at hospice, or lost her. You know, we do tell you. Yeah, thank you. Well, you have that you have that feeling for the bear you're making. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think it's easy yeah, for doing and cutting. But yeah. they need a time, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. I am a student. <laughs> I don't have a lot of time, but I can yeah. help. Yeah, like, you know what? I, I, like, I'm not a seamstress. Got... Barb is, Elizabeth is, you guys are. But they don't seem, they make, they make it look so easy. So I don't think this is going to be as hard as you guys think it's going to be. On, am I right, Barb and Elizabeth? Yeah, Honestly, right. just try your first one out, you know, and, and get that one made so that you can see how you feel so that these guys can get the programs going, you know, by, I don't know when your due date is, is it September or what? But I will tell you, did, did you get the discount uh, from Fabricland for the... For, I for think when I talk to Karen, if we order bulk, there oh. is uh, some discount from um, Michael's. Okay. Oh, Michael's. Okay. All right. So I'll let you decide how you handle yours. Uh, our seems just is just, they don't even, they don't even come to me for anything. I mean, if I have stuffing and have had some, I've given to them, but... They just go get their own and get their 40% discount from Fabricland when they buy uh, materials for the memory bear. They just have to say, don't house hospice, and they get the discount. And so, for so me, it's um, this is part of my, um, it's, I'm volunteering to make the bears, but it's also my my contribution to don't houses, you know, I I purchase um, what I need to to make to complete the bears and it's, yeah, it's, it's so lovely. It's it's my giving know. back as well as helping the hospice. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah. We really appreciate it. Both of you do that, and uh, like I said, other seamstresses, but I don't know what happened to those two. They're just oh, one's not well, and then the other one is working. So we've just really got you and Elizabeth right now working. <laughs> And I, may I ask another question? It's Lena. Um, so the cutting intimidates me a little bit because I am cutting someone's very precious piece of material. I can't replace it. Um, as we get started, is it possible to have one or two more experienced seamstresses in our group, you know, cut the pattern and then us take it over, you know, to get more accustomed to and sew and decorate and you know build up our confidence is that even possible i don't have a good answer for that one Me that, either. that you're you're going to make mistakes um it's like any sewing project it, you you do a little bit of mending like i said 
that fur coat one that Shit. one that one was uh i patching patching yeah. patching i did a lot of mending um you're you're unfortunately uh even just with cutting it's such a simple pattern you're not going to make a mistake with 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 a cut it's it's i have made little um putting a button in I've made little holes I've had to mend things and I don't know if any it doesn't even show yeah and it, it's it, you're going to make little mistakes it's part of it you just mend it the best you can Barb I don't know yeah. I agree I agree the pattern is only two two pattern pieces I don't think you can really go wrong no and um, they're big right they're nice and big and, and you have to figure out your way of putting together them together. The, the, the instructions are there, yeah. but I do it. I don't, I just do my own thing and I, I know my shortcuts and, you know, I'd be happy to uh, uh, get together with someone and work on a bear for an afternoon um, to, but I think your confidence comes with just doing them. Buying it, yeah. I, I agree. I agree. Where are you located, Barb? You can wear it. No, nobody's gonna wear it to give it fit or loose or tight. No, so it's just a bear. <laughs> Catalina, just try it on your on a piece of fabric that um, Casaway gives you. Try it out. Try cutting it, and you'll and then you'll see how how that it isn't uh, too difficult. You have to understand a piece of fabric that I pull out of my closet or purchase or whatever. I'm not going to be half as nervous as yeah. cutting. This. No, of course I do understand. I do. I do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, um, I, I live in New in uh, just outside of Newmarket in Sharon. I don't where, know where you are. Uh, I'm in Richmond Hill. Oh, that's pretty close. Okay. All right. Well, I'll keep that in mind. I think I need a little bit of confidence in the cutting process. Maybe and, and that that's fine, you know. It, it is scary. Um, my daughter is in, um, in costuming and, you know, she just whips things off like now, like anything. And, and it, she had, everyone has to start with the dry mouth and wondering if you're doing the right thing and uh, measuring twice and, and uh, cutting once. And we all go through it. And then after it gets easier, but I always hear people say, how can you do that? Um, how do you feel confident doing it when you're cutting into someone else's uh, material and uh, you just do it right Elizabeth oh yeah yeah and keep in mind that person's material it, yeah sure I understand Lena it's precious to them but at the same time they're giving it over to make a bear out of it because they want to keep that keepsake so if you do have to do a little patchwork that because maybe the cut was just a little bit off you know they don't mind and there's ways to cover that up with a ribbon around the neck or wherever it is you know yeah yeah it's experience it's it's you really have to take a deep breath and it's like any project even if it's if it's your own you take a deep breath and you go okay i'm gonna try my best and there's some days that um i just would you know like i said you make mistakes and you go well what can I do to make this, this little guy better? Or what can I put there? And it's amazing what you can come up with and be creative. It's you just, you, you challenge yourself and you just be very respectful. It's like anything, it's, uh, it's to be respected, but you gotta remember these are people too, that they understand it's, we're, we're not perfect people. We will become bear doctors. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that um, I don't know I think with Barb and Elizabeth every time I give them a project of the new bear order they get excited it's like they're like I mean they get like oh I'm gonna ooh, when they start thinking of ideas when they look at the material I can see it in there and they tell me I said oh okay I've got oh I've got lots of ideas so that's kind of fun for them they're making it fun for them yes, it oh, is it, fun of course yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and they get such pleasure out of oh, Casaway. An important part of the project yes. is once the bear is given to the to the loved one, mm -hmm. please let your seamstress know the reaction 
yep. because that's important to them to know how it how that person what they said or what how it was okay yes yeah. of course i will yeah and then that gets them to carry on more and really feel more confident i really want to and you know volunteer to enjoy this project you know? exactly yeah. don't, so we don't we want enjoy yeah. we can make something best something better something nice. that's right so, the seamstresses uh, uh, take pictures and do the, does the team share them because, you know, I've got some ideas, but, you know, someone else has some ideas uh -huh. and, you know, do, do we do that or not so much? I've never had a team uh, like we've only just done it in our in our here. So the picture that I take, I just put it in the client file. Um, we have we do have on the form when the client picks up their bear they we have a little disclaimer that they're picking up their bear and they're also allowing us to put it on social media so sometimes we might make our brochure out of that bear you made you know um and um because we got to get their permission because it's their personal bear you see what i mean mm -hmm. and um but between us i don't see why we can't show you a couple of bears as, as Barb and Elizabeth make more, okay? Mm -hmm. I have lots of pictures. May I show just uh, um, the leaflet? It shows a little bit of bears. Yeah, those are old ones, but yes, you can. Yeah. Matter, there is yeah, these. Like, uh, like these? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, this bear. Oh, these are the bottom ones. The bottom left with the yellow and the green, Barb made all those. Mm -hmm. Barb made all those ones. Oh. And she made them out of jackets. And look at how fun she did. Look at the yeah. fun stuff she did yeah. with the collars. Yeah. <laughs> so that, and then, and then Elizabeth does all that kind of thing and puts little collars and bow ties and mm. pretty ribbons. And uh, if it's, a, and we tell her it's for a girl or if it's a little girl, granddaughter. Like I do, we do try to share who the bear's for if the client told us. Yeah. So pretty. Like yeah, they are cute. They're really cute. Very unique one of the kind yeah okay um here's uh this this particular person was a um uh, oh, a, a, ha a, a red hatter and so everything was uh red and purple mm -hmm. and that that was a, a boa that i made a boa out <laughs> And there's um, a necklace on this one that was uh, one of the the client's uh, necklaces. And actually, there. Oh, there's a, if you look in this corner here, there's one of those little samples of perfume that I attach to the hand. So oh. you know, there's so many things. And that uh, the cape was an umbrella. And I, I took the material off the umbrella and made a, a cape out of it. And there, the, the hands, um, there was um, fishnet gloves and I put fishnet gloves. So, I mean, this is probably one of the ones that, oh, and there's earrings on the bear. Oh, <laughs> cute. <laughs> I never thought of that, that's cute. And this was, this was a mishmash of fabric. So I just sort of, um, Pieced it together? Yeah. Oh. And put cool. the, the hat. <laughs> That's cute. Did the earrings belong to the deceased? Yes. Oh, cool. That's yeah, nice. people do people do give you things like like uh, little uh, brooches or things like that yeah. too to put on, yes. This was a, a sweatshirt with a pattern in the front and a collar on the sweatshirt. So I I made the pattern um, fit the front of the bear and then I took the collar off and just uh, used the front of the collar and and put it on cool oh and there they are all together very nice thanks for sharing mm. so once you get into it it's hard to get out of it right Elizabeth it's kind yeah. of a obsession <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't take pictures. I just hand it I to. Take yeah, she. I give it to Chrissy. I don't. To me, it's just no. It's too personal. But that's just a choice. <laughs> so. So did you get? Is this helpful, guys? It's really, Absolutely. 
Good, good. Um, uh, what about having another Zoom um, down the road when maybe some of the seamstresses have made a, a, a try and then has questions that they have while they're sewing? Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, that was great. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for Good all idea. Life. Yes. Yeah. So anyways, um, if you have another question, maybe after this session, please bring to me. I will bring it to Chrissy, and we will get the answer. And I'd like to start at first test run. Anyways, let's start. Let's do it first. <laughs> let's do <Yeah>. this thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So if there is no question, um, maybe, oh. I just wanted to know uh, what time I can come over and get the materials. Oh, so I'm I will, start. you know, at first I need to go to the office okay. and then make a photocopy. Okay. I don't have a big photocopy. I cannot make a legal size photocopy. So I need to go to the office and make I need it on make it on ledger. Make it on the ledger size. The ledger. Okay. Use yeah. the ledger paper. It's better. Okay. Yes, I will. Okay. Yeah. And then after and that. I will pay for Nikki Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because okay. we are near each other. <laughs> yeah. And maybe okay. I come or Shannon come. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna yeah. go. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank so, anyways, you. I need my schedule and send the material. Yeah, we better get off. It's 11 now. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Thank you very, very much for coming here today. And let's work together. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks so much, okay. everybody. Nice it's so exciting. And yeah. nice to meet so everyone. Happy but sewing. Happy <laughs> sewing. Thank you. Thank you. Have a Thank nice you, day. everybody. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye